Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. I've got some stuff going on here. Um, if you remember last time, we picked our house, captured a few. Ca oh, they're suffocating. It's fine as long as we don't suffocate too many of them. It's actually actually keeping my food supply going, but they're suffocating. Uh, but anyways, so we're living off of cows, breeding them with wheat. Real simple setup. I. I also have iron tools and iron armor. I've done enough caving for that. Not a whole lot. Not like we have a lot of supplies for this stuff yet. I also do know, though, what I want the house to more or less look like. I whipped a little something up in a creative test world um, since I've never really built into a mountain. And I also have picked a style that I've wanted to try for a while but never been able to really do. So... I just plotted a little thing out there beforehand so you wouldn't have to see me place two blocks, take a look, taste, place two blocks, take a look. And more or less centered three stairs, because that's what we're starting with. So, let me get up there now. Now, we don't have a good way to get up there, and I think what we're going to do eventually, once we move things, is actually make that hole that we dug there loop around and come up uh, somewhere, like pop out up here um, and have that be how you get from down here to up there which would be nice and easy um, but we gotta build the actual house first for sure uh, like I said no easy way yet and then I don't really want to break the terrain but I'm gonna break I'm gonna break a little bit of the terrain so we can actually get there today <laughs> Um, okay. Also, while we're here on the server talking about it, uh, I think it's up and running, and I'm pretty sure everyone who was on the whitelist before can get on it now. Uh, I tweeted out a while ago, test it out, let me know if it's working or not, and uh, I haven't checked my Twitter since, so I can't, I didn't see if anyone responded with a yes or a no, uh, but I, I think... Everything should be good. <clears throat> ah, something stuck in my throat. Everything should be good, and I also think that you should be able to teleport to different worlds now. Uh, if you remember, uh, I said everyone who's on the server right now can access everything. Um, and I think as far as getting new people on the server, I'm going to have like a basic package where you can get on... Uh, this world and then I'll have like a plus package which is slightly more money um, to get on the other worlds um, I'll also have a package that lets you upgrade from one to the other because I don't want you to pay for one and then be stuck on the other or have to pay full price for the other and then finally uh, there'll be an option for um, get some dirt back for scaffolding and there finally be an option uh, I think to let you upgrade or um, get more plots in the plot world as it is right now everyone should have the ability to claim two and I'll change that later to more so the house that I'm building is sort of it's sort of like steampunky it's this it's this style I don't really know how to describe it it's the only way that I really can think of and the idea is it's kind of like house on house on house, like bigger house, bigger bigger house on top of smaller house. I don't know if that makes sense. I like guess kind of the opposite of what you'd kind of expect. Um, and basically what I want to do is have it kind of coming off at a really strange way. Like you'd almost think that shouldn't work, like that house should be falling down, but it sort of still does work. Um, realized I could have done this to place all those a lot easier. Uh, so I don't really know how far we want to go here. Let's start with that. Let's see if we want more. Uh, and then, like, the bottom part of the house is actually smaller than the top part of the house. So like I said, I plotted out in Creative World. I'm going to see how, how well I can do here not in Creative World. Uh, I've gathered some resources, some smooth stone, oak, and birch. Uh, we're definitely going to need more, but this... Oops. This will give us a good start. Um, 
Okay, so basically, the way I was doing this was... Uh, actually, let's do the far one first. I'm trying to make this look like supports. Oh, also, I'm, I'm just finishing off my stone tools before I start using the iron ones. So something like that. Um, step step over here and get a get a look at that. Yeah, I think actually I'm gonna want to come one more, and this last one because the way I had it was hold on a second here like this. Whoa, Phil, damn it. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, it's becoming nighttime, so I'll I'll do a sleep while we're here, and might as well gather some more wheat. Wheat farm. Not a very big wheat farm. Not a very fast wheat farm either. But it's doing the job, I guess, because we're using it to breed cows. Um, I still have voxel sniper here because of the the painting thing. Uh, painting. No, not painting. The um paintball, what I meant to say. But that will that will change. It, we will get rid of that when we don't need it anymore. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, wait, no. I just realized I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, over on that. And let's get back up here. We might even... Might even be for beneficial for us. If we fall down again, I'll stop and I'll make a ladder. <laughs> And that would be good. Um, cut down all the trees over here to get this wood. And I think I like it better with no trees there. Uh, kind of an open view of this wall. I also might get rid of that hill there. So that we can sort of see what we're building from farther away. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. But I think it would look nice to have it be sort of flat. Okay, I think actually what I did... I could go check my reference. I want to avoid just like showing you guys the reference. That seems kind of cheating. Okay, I think that is. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do the parts that I know and then I'll check my reference. Oh, see, this is the annoying part with box of snipers. I can't hold shift and break anything or else it does that. Um, but that for sure is correct. I don't know what I'm going to do about the top one. So let's finish that design here. And how did I do that? It's dirt right there. And there. Whoop. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> placed it while jumping. And I'll be pro. Okay. Uh, here. <laughs> it's dangerous working up here. I actually don't think that fall is enough to kill me. Um, so these are the supports that we're doing. And I wanted the floor of these. I break this guy to get with us. Oh, see, can't do it. Can't hold shift and do it. And we'll move him upstairs since we're going to be living up there. So I'm gonna cut here, go check the reference uh, real quick, and then I will we will move on to building the rest of the house. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back. So I did what it was that needed to be done. We had it right. I just wasn't sure where to put the other stuff because the floor is kind of made of half slabs. That uh, kind of throws it all off because. You can't put two half slabs of different types next to each other into one block, which I always thought would be a neat feature to add, but... Stone slabs is going to be our floor. We're going to put it right here. Um, well, maybe not. Oh. No, we're not going to put it there. I was wrong. Uh... See, I always have this, like, horrible, horrible, g give me, give me, oh, darn it, we're gonna have to go down and get that. Oh, oh, I actually didn't, I actually changed my mind, I didn't want to go down and get it, but then we fell, so we got it. I always had this, like, horrible optical illusion with half slabs, sort of like, you, you deal with half slabs enough, and you start thinking that that's the, 
not a half slab, it's like a full block, and then you wonder why you can't place things on it. Having that issue in the paintball arena, uh, which has been, it's been way too long since I worked on the paintball arena, but I've been busy with this other stuff. Um, I think by the time you will have seen this, you will have seen at least one episode of Pixel Piracy. Uh, so I guess I can talk about that. I just recorded these two things on the same day. So, uh, their exact timing for being uploaded, I'm not so sure about. But, I think you did. And, I really like that game. And I don't know about you guys, uh, I've only played a, a little bit of it. So, I can't say for sure, like, how taken I am with it. Obviously, if I really liked it, you guys would not have any say in the matter, really. Well, I guess you would still have some say in the matter, but I would be 100% in my head, I would I would definitely be wanting to make a, um, a series on it, for sure. But, uh, since I'm not sure about what you guys think of the game, or what, uh, necessarily what I think about the game, yet. I'm not sure about the series. Um, and I really, I really uh, want to, like I've mentioned in the past, like my big thing right now, which is not a hard obstacle for other people to overcome, but it is for me, me personally, um, a big deal and it's something I care about, but also something that I'm not very good at, which is just keeping series, go series going for a long time. So, oh well, wait, I think I did that wrong. I know that there isn't a wrong in Minecraft, so I should stop saying that, but I thought I had... Oh, yeah. Um, oh, damn, this is hard. <sighs> Building over this water is rough, because I don't want to, like, pillar up in the water, but I think I might have to pillar up and put a ladder so that we can reach these outside things. Um, I don't want to have to stop recording and go check my reference. Um, uh, you know what, though? Maybe... Okay, I have to go down and sleep anyways, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to come back up, so I'm gonna go check my reference. I'm gonna make a ladder. Let's cut down some wood while we talk. I'm gonna make a, a ladder, and we are going to, uh, speed this process up along. This has been a very, like, stop-and-go building, because different things that keep getting in our way. That's survival Minecraft, though. That's what keeps it more interesting than creative mode, in my opinion, I guess. So, I'll be right back with you yet again. Very sorry. Uh, but I... We need to... We need to... Okay, good system, I'm back. Sorry about build. that. I uh, didn't Easy. sleep, but daytime was arising after I looked at my thing. So... Here we are. Uh, got some more resources too, because I saw that we are going to need them. Uh, I built the frame, basically, so that we could fill it however we wanted, but at least we would have, like, dimensions set. Um, and I think I want to do skinny windows. Um, one, one by, one, one thick windows, however, I guess they're going to be too tall. Um, for now, I guess we could change that later if, if, if it doesn't look so good. Um, and also, I want to point out that this is sort of going to be like a tower in that, uh, do I have, yeah, good, uh, do, 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 great, in that there's going to be this thing poking off of it. And I guess what I mean by that is like, Imagine here's the first level of house. Imagine like a, a bigger version at the top, and then off of that there's a another room, kind of like with an arm. Kind of, you'll you'll see. We'll get there. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but uh, it's gonna be pretty cool if we can get it to look as good as we did in the creative world. It's gonna be nice. Uh, let's get like some stairs. Uh, here and uh, now this this is kind of more like detail work so I'm tempted to not work on it right now but uh, how did I do this on the bottom it went like this right uh, let's get the dirt uh, 
go out this way a little, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully it'll orient itself correctly, which it did. Okay. And let's actually just pop out. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Like I was gonna say, just pop out the window. And do this. I'm not, I'm putting these on every space where there is no window. <laughs> see how that looks. So this is going to be the first floor, and I think I, because I'm actually running out of time to record here, because we had to cut away, this is going to be a shorter episode, and it's going to actually be all about this first floor here, which I know isn't much, and I apologize, but um, like I said, this took longer to record than I was able to do, especially if I want to get editing and stuff like that, which, get in there! Is there something wrong? Is there something wrong with this right now? There's something wrong here. Just, right like that. There we go. That was strange. Uh, right there. Okay. Break these. These dirts. Uh, we have to break the dirts over there. I think there's actually a couple dirts over there. Yeah. Anything else? Scaffolding wise? We'll go take a peek. Ah, we can almost start using this iron pick. Which is good. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove this bump here to sort of put the uh, entrance into this place. So that's fine. So you can kind of see that that kind of looks like a tiny, tiny house, but like I said, remember it's kind of bigger on the upside. <laughs> that's what I'll call it rather than bigger on the inside. Doctor Who reference. Uh, bigger on the bigger on the top half. Um, that'd be a good like band name or something. Bigger on the upside. I don't know. Um, but what I really like, and the view that I really want y'all to see right now, is the view of the supports. Um, and also, I, the one that I built in Creative World, it, it's like in a hill, but it's not in the same hill. It's not in like a cliff face like this one is. So, um, you know, we can sort of see how that looks. I think it looks pretty good as a simple base, and that's going to be the hardest stuff to build. Um, because of the fact that it's like over the water and stuff. So let's finish this today with the ladder doing, and we'll call it an episode. Uh, and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I, I, I don't know what you guys, if you guys have your opinion. Remember, I have a whole like second story as well as like second story branch. It's, it's basically like a, an enclosed balcony, um, sort of. Uh, I also was sort of having thoughts, uh, I got a little reminiscent, went back and watched some of my older YouTube videos, um, I definitely kind of like what we're doing now better, but, uh, about things that I've done, like, past builds of mine, I used to really be into, like, uh, repeating stuff, uh, like villages and stuff where you got to build similar but different houses. Um, that was kind of when villager breeding was newer and interesting, and it still is interesting. Just it's the same as before, so it's kind of like a little old doing it. But uh, yeah, and so I, I got some sort of inspiration from there. I actually had this. It's it's a very popular episode on my channel. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you go check it out. Um, in an old LP, the I don't know why it was so popular. I mean, I, I rewatched it and it's, it's a good episode, but it's I don't really know what about it made it sort of stand out. But it's entitled "The House That You Ding Dong Ditch," and it was in this old suburban town thing that I was building that I was pretty proud of. Uh, especially if you watch, I don't actually know which I did a lot of building on it that never ended up making it to YouTube. For one reason or another, I kind of forget why. Oh, there's no water there. Okay, almost died there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Check that out. But what was cool about it was that we built this miniature haunted house thing. Um, that uh, I refer uh, I said in the video, this has got me thinking that a cool type of Minecraft build, especially with new added dark wood colors and stuff would be a cool haunted house build which made me chuckle because I realized that ever since I built that house which I was really happy with um, I have been thinking about the haunted house until we've come to a full-blown haunted house in Attack of the Bee Team that looks really cool so fun fact okay that was a bit of a bit of a sidestrack 
sidetrack story, but I might tell you about some of the other builds I did, especially one that this reminds me of, which was actually not really a build, it was a way of living. I kind of did a skyblock thing in a, no, in, a, in a normal world, like there was a floor, it wasn't like you fell into void if you fell off, but it was um, these different cubes in the sky that had different patterns and made out of different blocks that all looked pretty cool, and then a series of like, uh, single, like, like, like if this was if this was one cube and this was the other you had to get to it by by like a like a one by one pathway kind of deal so it was like you know these were really really far apart though so it's kind of like a little tightrope kind of cool out being out in the open and exposed way high up in the air um yeah i don't know but that was cool um, so I might recreate some of these style of things in this LP, kind of make a hits of, a uh, couple bases of hits of my previous builds. But, either way, thanks for watching, um, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!